Hello, welcome again on this web application penetration testing series. My name is Sumit Jain and today I'm going to discuss on how to scrap URLs from Wayback Machine with Wayback URLs. So Wayback URL will help you to find URLs from Wayback Machine archives. You can find the GitHub repo here. Installation process is very simple. Run this command in your terminal and check with the help command. If the script will installed, it will show you the result like this. So my script is installed. It will show me the different flags I'm going to use you. Talking about how to use Wayback URLs, this script has some different flags to do that. I'm going to show you some of them. Let's start with the simple one. If you want to crawl a single domain, then run this way back and the target name you want to crawl the links. Way back URL and then specifies the target name. Here I'm giving tesla.com. It takes some time to display the result. You have to wait. This is script have different different flags to do the recon process like this. In the screen you are seeing that all the links are displayed here. I'm going to stop the command and trying to show you the another command this script have. If you want to crawl the links in JSON format, you have to run this Wayback URL, then specify the domain name and hyphen json this command retrieves all the urls of the wayback machine archives from the specifies domain or target in json format so you have to specify the target name and hyphen json hit enter it will display the result the tool have some also cool features like you can grab some keywords from it like if you want to find some redact parameters, some login parameters or any other parameters, you can use grab command with it. And if you want to filter your traffic from HTTP or HTTPS connectivity, you can use HTTP probe as well. HTTP probe is another script you need to install. You can find it from GitHub repo. Let's check the results if we have any. Yes, we get the results in JSON format. I'm going to stop the command and run for grab keyword. I'm using the keyword redirect. So this will only find URLs with redirect parameter in it. Hit enter. This command is very useful if you are going to test for XSS vulnerability and for SQL injection SSRF vulnerability, then you need to specify different parameters name. It will show you the results from Wayback Machine and you can store into a file then run your own script with XSS tools or SQL map as well. Like if I'm going to show you how to filter results with HTTP or HTTPX connectivity. So I'm going to use HTTP probe. Hit enter. It will filter the result with the base of HTTP and HTTPS connectivity. The another commands is this. If you want to exclude some URLs for a specified file, you can use this command wayback URL, give, give the target name, give the flag name hyphen exclude and your exclude file. This command retrieves all the URLs of the wayback machine archives for the specifies domain or target, but exclude the URL listed in the specified file. Also, if you want to uh, 
uh, find the urls with a status code 200 then you you can use this command as well wayback urls give the domain name you want to find the urls specifies the flag hyphen filter then status code the status code you want to return i'm giving here 200 pipe sort hyphen u this command which retrieves all the urls of the wayback machine archives for the specifies domain of the target that returns a 200 status code let's check the results http probe is still running it will show you the result with connectivity of http and https i'm going to show you the http filter command filter status underscore code colon 200 then pipe sort hyphen u it will only display the url with status code 200 so wayback url is very useful if you are uh, if you are using this into find some cool bugs like xss and sql map you can store the results in a file with hyphen o command as output like this if i want to store the result in a file i will specify the flag hyphen o and the file name it will store your result into result.txt you can open this result file after the file is saved so i will wrap up this here in the next topic i will talk about how to grab urls from the tool named gao so follow me on these these commands will be available on my github repo so check that out